Boys and girls, it's time to gather around because today we're gonna talk about words. That's right, words. Now just the other day, I picked up one of my granddaughters and brought her back to the house and we had a lot of fun doing different experiments. And one of the experiments we did is we took a Ziploc bag and a giant toothpick and we poked a whole bunch of holes in it and it was a lot of fun. And you could use a nail or something else as sharp, but the point is you wanna put a whole bunch of holes in that little Ziploc bag. And then we went into the yard and we found some small rocks and we filled that bag up with some rocks. And then I did something kind of tricky. I had my granddaughter sit down and I had her hold that Ziploc bag open and then I started to pour water in it. And do you know what happened? It started leaking all over her and she wasn't real happy about that. Do you give me a whip? But as I was thinking about her reaction, I thought, you know, there's a good question I want to ask each one of you today. And that is, have words ever hurt you? You see, words can be very hurtful, and sometimes we can act like that Ziploc bag with rocks and act like they don't hurt. But in fact, we're not well, and we're actually quite hurt by those words. And so as I was thinking about how hurtful words can be, I also realized the Bible has a lot to say about this. So if you have your Bibles today, would you open them to Proverbs 12 and allow me to read verse 18 for you now. And remember, as always, this is the Word of God. There's one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Boys and girls, did you see what the Word of God said? God's Word said that our words can be like sword thrusts. Imagine a whole bunch of swords being pulled out to poke somebody with. That would be super hurtful, wouldn't it? And it brings up an interesting question. Is it possible that you have used your words to hurt other people too? And if we're to be honest, we've all used our words at different times to hurt other people. And that is certainly not what God desires. Instead, God's word continues to tell us that our words could be used to provide healing. Now, I tried to put some Band-Aids on that Ziploc bag to see if it would stop the leaks, and sadly, it didn't. And that reminds me that our words are so powerful and we wanna be very careful on how we use them. So boys and girls, instead of using our words to hurt people, let's use our words to heal people. Let's speak kindness into other people and let's encourage them to be more and more like Jesus Christ. So boys and girls, remember that your words are powerful and that we can use them to heal instead of to hurt other people. And I promise you that will be pleasing to God. So until next time, bye-bye.